Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. I got asked a very important question because of the video I put up the other day about um, time under tension, about volume, high volume, why it's necessary for growth, like you know, getting the pump, pretty much like standing your sets, right? The video is called Why You Should Make Your Seven Reasons Why You Should Make Your Sets As Long As Possible, right? Each set, like let's say you're doing a set of, uh, of an exercise, you know, why you should try your hardest to use heavy weight, obviously, to stimulate the muscle recruit as many motor units as possible, but also why you should extend the time on the tension, right? As opposed to just doing one, two, three, and then dropping the weight. Uh, and I explain why, watch the video, right? But, and if someone asked a, a, a very good question, because it's a question that I asked myself when I was studying bodybuilders, because you guys know I study, I study a lot of shit, man. I research a lot. I like researching information, even if it's already been answered out there. I like starting from a clean, uh, clean slate, open mind, and starting from the bottom and then getting my own conclusion then compare my conclusion to public opinion and seeing if it matches or not right even if i know gravity works i'm gonna test it out anyway right you never know that's how people discover shit, right so and it's great it's a great exercise for your brain but anyway um a lot of people tell me hey megan you smart i'm not smart i just fucking exercise my brain a lot it's like telling a guy that has that works out his arms that you know frequently oh, well, you have strong arms dude you know you just you just genetically gifted no the motherfucker who's training his arms right so uh, you know, I, I don't see myself as a smart guy. It's just I, I spend more time on shit. But anyway, so um, the question was, why does uh, if high if high volume, high time on detention, is necessary for growth? Why is it that people like Dorian Yates built built great physiques on low volume, high intensity? Now here's the here's the here's the problem here. The person said low volume. Number one, Dorian Yates did not use low volume, guys. In fact, he's the most dominant body pull. I don't care what nobody said was his back, right? I don't think it was really. I mean, he had good develop you know body parts but i don't think he was really uh, uh fucking out of the water when it comes to the other body parts like nobody says oh i want dorian Yates' chest so i want dorian Yates' quads no people usually when you mention dorian people just think his, his fucking back his back was insane um so and if you look at his back his back was not low volume people think dorian Yates did one set per body part he did not do one set per body part guys or one set per exercise he did one set to failure right i've read his interviews i i, I looked at i've read, read a lot of his articles because you know i'm a big dorian Yates fan i love the guy because he's very scientific too with a lot of his shit and you know you know he's, he doesn't just follow the crowd and if you look at him he did not look look at his back routines he did not do one set Per muscle or per body part, he did one set to failure. He would do one or two, one or two, excuse me, one or two um, warm up sets, and then go to his final set, which we which went to failure. So that's like three sets already per exercise. And then when, if his body part is already warmed up, he'd only do one or two warm up sets on and on. For the bench press, obviously he did like three warm up sets because he had to bring bring the um, the weight up to like four or five or whatever he was benching. So number one, he did not do so. Like I said, he did not do low volume. He did high volume, guys. And for his back, like that, his back routine, he did pull. I memorized that shit. He would do pullovers. So that's already three sets. Bam. He did pullovers. Then he would do underhand pull downs. Uh, that's two to three sets. That's already like six, five to six. And then he would do uh, one on rows, right? Then he would do hyper extensions. Then he would do barbell rows. Then he would do deadlifts. Guys, it's like six to seven exercises, you know, I think five, five to six, five, six, seven exercises, right? And, and and that's a lot. That's not low volume, motherfucker. That's pretty, that's high volume. You multiply that by three sets each or two, two to three sets, that's over 10 sets. Anything over 10 sets is not low volume, right? So he did high volume. And as far as uh, time on attention, people forget because they're like, oh, because he was in the six to eight rep range. So his time on attention was low. It was not low, guys. Think about the tempo look at dorian's training right if i do five reps of a curl like one two three four five now the guy comes in and does five reps like one squeeze eccentric two squeeze eccentric three up to five we both did five reps but the time and attention is not the same the guy who was doing the eccentrics was controlling the weight and things like that even though he did five reps on paper he did more time on the tissue for the muscle watch any workout video during years that you see that he controls these reps he explodes the, the uh, concentric he squeezes he holds the uh, static contraction then he slowly lowers his one rep for Dorian is like four to five seconds right so if he does six reps that's six times five that's 30 seconds times of attention as opposed to the other person who does five reps one two three four five so he did high time on attention and he did um high volume right so don't get confused with the whole oh Dorian's training is against uh you know high volume it's not against high volume training he did high volume 
and he did the and obviously number three you know I'm not, I don't like mentioning steroids because every all the IBB pros you know uh, are in hand so you can't say it's because he, he, you know he just took steroids I, I don't like saying that because he's not the only one who takes steroids and I can't say it's because of genetics because he's not the only one that has great genetics yeah not everybody looks like Dorian Yates so those two things are out the water but anyway so for uh, as far as you know a, a natural athlete is, is concerned I would say obviously you still want to live heavy and you still want to increase your time on the tension volume builds physiques you gotta do high volume even when i do my full body workouts and i try to make them as short as possible i never sacrifice volume i would do super sets drop sets whatever it takes to to, to condense my workout into one hour while at the same time getting a lot of time on attention all right hope that answers your question um oh i forgot how can i forget don't 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 don't, don't stop watching the video just make my dreams come true Hi guys, I'm out. Yes! Oh, right. uh. <laughs> Hi guys. Damn! <laughs> Quick video because I'm, I'm, I'm way behind. I think I only uploaded like two this week. So I'm trying to go back to my three a day, but anyway. Just make my dreams come true. Alright, time on attention. I made several videos about time on attention. Um, get to the point why you should make your 